Happy 6K to Big Snoop. This is my tomahawk steak. I know it's smothered, it might be a little hard to see, but that's uh, onion and garlic grated up. Just simple salt and black pepper, a little bit of good olive oil, and a heaping tablespoon of butter. We're gonna sear it on uh, each side for four to six minutes, and then it's gonna go into the oven at 350. And we're gonna add some of that. All right, we're ready. Let's see if I can one hand this thing. Heavy. <laughs> there we go. All right. There we go. Tomahawk steak. I don't even know what to say. I'm excited. <laughs> What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, Snoopy East 408. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm telling you right now, you do not want to miss out. Click on that notification bell because I'm coming with some banger because we keep it bang around here. You know what I'm talking about? All right. So you can tell I'm super excited. Why am I super excited? Because, man, I done hit my 6K. I know I said it in the last video, but this was the video I was planning for my 6K uh, dinner. All right. So... This hunkin' piece of meat right here, this is a tomahawk steak. I don't know if this is as big as a tomahawk steak that I got for my birthday bang, but um, let me tell you, this was a $30 piece of steak, and I don't know, I, I it just looked like it expanded. So I'm definitely, just, just, just putting this out there, I'm not eating this whole complete steak by myself. I'm gonna share some of this, okay? This is massive, all right? <laughs> I'm not 20 no more, but it looks delicious. I kept it simple on the seasoning. I'll get into that in a minute, but here goes my uh, buttery garlic mashed potatoes with some chives, which is really like a green onion or spring onion or whatever, and I chopped it up really fine. Got little bulbs of garlic right there. So let's, let's, let's get it in, all right? So I think I showed you guys last video, but if you didn't see that video or you didn't catch that part, then I'm going to show you that I'm going to try this sauce for the first time on this steak. Alright, I got the HP right there and I got some hot sauce, but I'm not really a big HP sauce type of guy. Alright, so I'm a Sam Yang. I'm a Sam Yang guy. But I'm running low on the Sam Yang and I don't need no tummy pains because I got a beautiful adventure tomorrow morning, but we'll talk about that next video. Alright, so you know I have to do you know your boy Snoopy's have to do it though. With the with the Moscato. Ooh. Oh, that's my boy tracks. Ooh. <laughs> but me and him get cozy and he used to bring by a drink and we used to barbecue and stuff. He'd be like, he'd be like, Snoop, look what I got. Hold up, like, you know, some Hennessy or some, you know, some beers or whatever. And he'd be like, ooh. I'd be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Alright, so let's ooh, get into this. I don't wanna bust my eye out. Oh yeah. Hey look, congratulations. And I wanna give a special shout out and thank you to all my subscribers from my original day one OGs to the last couple that just subscribed just just a few minutes ago and you keep subscribing to the channel and you keep leaving me beautiful comments and I love it and I love you guys and I appreciate you guys yo let's stretch let's go hit that 7k 7 and hey, y'all know we gotta keep that lucky 7 right there's my number alright so let's get it I don't know what to do for that but this is epic right here you can't go wrong with beef steak and mashed potatoes a little bit of gravy Oh, let me get my mic so I can get a little ASMR on the pour up. I'm finna pour it up, y'all. Alright, yeah, I'm super excited. I'm happy. I worked hard to get here and you guys were great and 
extremely supportive so this is for you guys this first drink we're gonna cheers it up no champagne or like the Moscato and all these sparkling wines have that nice distinct sound when you pour it so this is what we're sipping on no juice no kool-aid no water no soda no beer we're gonna keep it all the way classy right here baby all right so listen to all my snoopy east gang snoopy's angels this is for you salute cheers take a sip it's nice and cold 6k baby road to 7k get this I should have cracked the sauce open bear with me y'all we're gonna start eating right now I just uh, I just pulled this out the oven I'll tell you exactly how I prepared it I do got to get another barbecue grill and get that going because I usually barbecue every uh, weekend especially like all year round too Ugh. sorry about this guys I'm trying to eat this damn thing open there you go Jeez. This must be some type of special sauce. All right, so we'll keep it here for now. Let's try a bite of the steak first. All right, this tomahawk, aka ribeye, aka ooh, that's juicy, aka cowboy steak. If I'm not mistaken, oh, that's cooked to perfection, fully cooked, not overcooked, juicy. Do juicy what I see? There, you guys get that first bite right there. That's all you. Open your mouth. There you go, baby. There you go. You got it, homie? You got it, homegirl? All right. Let's try this out. I actually want to cry right now. Oh, my God. Look. I really outdid myself again. Y'all know um, I love to cook, right? Before I started YouTuber, since I was young, I always liked being in the kitchen. That's my love. Mm. You want you guys to get another bite? I really do wish I could feed you guys for real. One day I will. Got it? There you go. Oh, man. Can I get a... Can I get a round of applause for this beautiful cut of meat? I even seared it. So here's what I did, y'all. Got a pan nice and hot. I got some sea salt, black pepper, then I took one regular size onion, seven cloves of garlic, and I blended it up a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of water, right, to get it kind of like a thick sauce, and I patted it on each side, salted it, and um, <laughs> I was about to say sugared it, black peppered it, and, um, and then I, when the pan was hot, I just, just took some really good olive oil and just kind of just a little glaze, but I took a heaping tablespoon of butter, a little bit more. And then I let it do its thing, start bubbling. <clears throat> then I cut up some onions, like if I was making really small thin onion rings, put the onions in there, put some garlic in there, put the steak in there. And this is like on a higher heat. I seared this bad boy for like six minutes each side. Then I picked it up with the tongs and I got the fat. I seared the fat. Man, my kitchen was smelling. Beautiful. Okay. So I seared it up. And all the while, while I was searing it, I had the oven preheated at 350. Later, I put it to 375 because 350 
wasn't hot enough for this size steak I found out after but still <clears throat> so then as I seared it I took it out and then I hit it with uh, a tablespoon on each side of some wonder chuck jerk marinade sauce I can't go no lower yeah, let's let's turn you guys up a little bit all right yeah all right there that's good okay yeah so then I hit it with the wonder chuck which in my opinion and a lot of uh, my fellow Jamaican uh, fams around here um, know that that's pretty much the best one grace is good too but it's like this one is like you could tell it's like the real deal uh, for jerk and uh, man this that's a bite right there that's a bite right there I just have to enjoy that. Hold on. Most of the time, like, it's almost like we're rushing to eat on here. But this thing right here, this is the best steak I ever made in my life. Like, for real, this is the best damn steak I ever met. Yo, I love you. This is amazing. Yo, you know what? That just, it had a nice little chew to it. But basically, it pretty much just melted all over my mouth. It just melted. And you know that phrase when people say, man, that tastes like butter, Ray. Right? Yeah. But that thing tasted and melted just like butter. Here's a little bit of the crispy bits that I love too with the onion on it. Mmm. See? Something says new put some more onion on it. Mmm. Should put some more onion. <laughs> this was in the hour for a, this was in the hour for an oven <laughs> this was in the oven for at least an hour I'd say a good hour and a half and I checked on it like four or five times I based it and it was just like magic just the juice was just like bubbling smelling you can see it just cooking away and just like getting all delicious and beautiful all the sauce started to reduce down and get thick and oh she thick <laughs> and um my mashed potatoes i boiled of course till it gets nice and soft and then i always add extra butter in my mashed potatoes because i love buttery mashed potatoes and then i said you know what i told everybody i'm doing buttery garlic mashed potatoes so i took four bulbs of the garlic that was here and cooking in the pan <clears throat> and then i put it in I put it in a bowl of mashed potatoes and then I added a little bit of carnation milk. I added two tablespoons of sour cream. It was four tablespoons of butter, pinch of salt, pinch of black pepper, pinch of sugar. <laughs> Excuse me. And um and that was it. And I just with the little uh the little blender thing with the little things on the front, I just I whipped it good. Whip it, whip it, I whipped this. I whipped this for like about four minutes. I just whipped it, it got fluffy. And uh, it's like super, super soft, fluffy, full of flavor. I put the chives on it. It's delicious. I would say I make the best mashed potatoes. But then there's always somebody saying that they make the best this and that, right? So, Okay. So let's put some sauce right here, you guys. This is um, from Happy Mango, which is a awesome, um, I would say butcher shop. I'd say like a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a Caribbean meat market it carries vegetables and tortillas and seasonings and all that stuff but they this is where i got my cut from this guy cut this it was a big slab like this a big massive tomahawk and i said cut that a little bit less than half so this is this is almost two inches i guess but um man let me tell you when he cut it i said okay how much that is that because you know I, I was going out but i wasn't going all out you know because i'm thinking about my 7k but it's all good celebrating and he cut the piece and he's like, 30 bucks. I was like, let me take that. And then let me take that whole chicken right there. And uh, let me get some of these seasonings right here. And then I said, what, what, what sauce do you recommend? And he recommended the tipsy. But I got tipsy last time. 
Well, I used to get tipsy all the time, but look at that. Combo. Ooh. This is freaking ridiculous, dog. <laughs> God. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now, dude? I must be dreaming. tell you this thing cuz I'm dreaming about you <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy listen I wish that you guys can try several pieces of this with me trust me when I tell you that man I'm real about my work mmm my goodness mm, that's the fat mm-hmm mmm serious fat y'all serious fat When you share the fat, all the flavors right there. And plus, it won't be so gelatinous and chewy. You can enjoy just, just a little bit of the fat. It's mainly meat that you're chewing on, but you get a little bit of that fat. And the flavor is it's just decorating your mouth with flavor and bliss. It's so delicious. Please don't cringe out. Don't cringe out. This is, I'm serious, man. When I tell you this, am I recording? I better be recording. <laughs> yo, Mo. I just like to yell your name. I like that. Come on now. Come on now. You know what it is. No, I, I be hitting the homie up. I just, I, I'll just hit him up and just be like, yo, Mo. <laughs> Say what up, Kim, folk. And <laughs> we, we just get to talking. I feel like I know Gilmore. And uh, and RDR all my life, man. And shout out to my two brothers in the mukbang community, and shout out to everybody in the mukbang community from the gorgeous, beautiful young ladies to all my handsome young brothers out there, black, white, Mexican, I don't care what nation you are. I love this mukbang family, I want to give all y'all a shout out. And check this out, this is popping my head. I'm gonna Clean the bone, clean the bone. Chicken wing, the flats, challenge. Anybody can do the challenge. I watched a couple today. Uh, man, let me tell you, I love chicken wing. But I've been beefing it up lately because <laughs> after that last chicken challenge, I was like, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to ruin my pollo experience. You know what I'm saying, Esther? I don't want to mess it up. I wanted to keep it steady, I said, you know. A little bit of different type of protein. Mmm. <laughs> I was thinking about doing corn, salad, all that. See here, it gets more cooked right here. But I was like, you know what? Nah, no, nah, I'm going to get full quick. Let me enjoy this steak and I'll just have some mashed potato on the side because it's smooth and fluffy. And, um,. Ooh, let's get a piece with that garlic right there. Yeah, I didn't want to overstuff myself with sides. There's a piece with the garlic. Okay. See it? Gone. Banging. Straight up and down. It's so I'm getting the steak sweats right now. Woo! In a good way though. Mmm. Chicken is the bomb. Don't get me wrong. I love fish. Certain seafood, all that. And you see with steak, depending on how you cook it, you can get it tender, you have the fatty bits, you can get the crispy, you can get a medium rare, rare. Meaning well, depending on where you cook it, how long you cook it. Some parts have got to chew. Some parts are really nice and gelatinous. I mean, man, like this part right here. 
is, is really cooked and then you go like over here oh let's, let's flip let's flip this baby around let's flip her this way Ooh, we about to tear off into that tender this little centerpiece right there see it right there right there right next to the bone baby let's say the meat on the bone Woo! it's the best part of the beef that's what they say and i get it because it's the bone is it's got a lot of flavor, right? Oh, oh. So you know what? Let me let me give you guys a close up of this. So this right here is like half and half. It's fatty right here on the end, but this one is marbled. The beef and the fat is marbled together. Let me hit it with that sauce right there. Look, see? You have the little bits of fat right here. And then oh, and then I hit it with the sauce right there. And then we're gonna grab a little bit of mashed potatoes. And we ain't gonna procrastinate. Are you listening? Whoa! <laughs> Sing it back! Whoa! <laughs> mm. I don't even want to share this. I don't. I want to sever this bone. This whole corner cap right here. Pack that away for tomorrow. Because I don't know why I heat that up. Ooh. With some toast and jelly and butter. Mm. 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 Let's chase it with some moscato. Now I know why, and I wore this shirt, I wore Quan Tran's shirt. Oh, speaking of Quan Tran, I spoke with him earlier in the DM, man. What a great dude. That's my favorite mukbanger, man. I love all you guys, but he's my number one favorite, when I, especially when I first started watching mukbang. So shout out to the OG legend out there, Quan Tran himself. Um, but I was wearing this shirt, and now I know why, <clears throat> because I'm passionate about food too, but now I know why he goes, um, food and life is such a beautiful thing, don't you think? <laughs> Click on the bell. Be a part of the notification gang. <laughs> if you don't know who Quan Tran is, please go check him out. I guarantee you, whoever I recommend for you to go watch, you will fall in love and binge watch. Trust me. Go check out Quan Tran. Check out Mark Weens. I, excuse me, I live on these guys. I watch everybody. I, I do. I watch everybody. I have my favorites. I do. But I try to show as much love as I can. To everybody. I love finding newer mukbangers too. Since our OGs, you know, they go up there and they forget about us, you know what I'm saying? I'm joking. Am I though? <laughs> no, I love all y'all, man. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's like I, I, I do want to talk with you guys. I will, but I'm, when I tell you I'm seriously enjoying the steak, for the most part, I make good steak. But there's been times where I make a steak and it, it starts off good, and it's like ah. Uh, this this one right here is 100%. This is even better than the tomahawk one I made for my birthday. And that one has Sam Yang sauce on it. This one ain't got no Sam Yang sauce on it. It don't even need no, no sauce, period. But this is a unique take. The, the taste, the bourbon maple syrup, this is this actually pairs really well with this because I put extra salt on the outside of this because it's such a big steak. I wanted to get that salty, crispy outside, and it actually worked. <laughs> it worked out well. <coughs> Squeeze me. I don't edit that out. I know you can get a little cringe, but that's one of the thumbnails right there. <laughs> Got to make that those flowers, man. Make those flowers pop. Make those flowers bang. Okay, now where do I want to cut into next? 
yeah because i don't want to keep y'all too long you know because you're probably starving right now and you're probably like damn it snoop damn it there you go damn it snoop there you go again there you go again snoop oh man this is like complete fatty bit oh man that's like all fat and a little beef layer on the bottom there oh but we do have to try some frank red hot because we put that on everything y'all know what y'all know how you go try a little piece there and it's just just a little splash up over here because i'm telling you right now man I should do a steak challenge. Well, not even a challenge. We just have everybody just eat steak at the same damn time. And I'll give you the recipe. I want to see RDR eat this steak. Mm-hmm. RDR, my Brody. If and whenever you do get the chance to come around and see this video, you're playing a pot in Snoopy Eats. We'd love to see you do a massive... Well, then, tomahawk steak and buttery garlic mashed potatoes. That's it. Get your little fancy barbecue sauce, your Moscato, champagne. You can have beer or twisted tea, whatever you want. And your choice of hot sauce. And just, oh, I really put my foot in this. Now, this part is really cooked. Which is still fine, but I am going to go in for the kill. So I'm going to cut this medallion out. Because I am sharing this. I'm not, like I said, I'm not eating. I could eat all of this. I thought I wasn't going to be able to eat. I could eat all of this. This is just way too tender. Way too flavorful. But I did promise. My son was like, Dad, wake me up. And the steak is done even though I'm full. I want a piece. So I was like, okay. For sure. I said, I'm going to film it first. And that's his piece. He can eat piece right now and get the flavor in his mouth and go back to sleep and then take it to work. That's what I do. Woo! <clears throat> I waited so long for this. So, so long. Like, shout out to Turtle Creativity. She knows I waited so long to go back and get this um, tomahawk steak. I was like, whoa, so long. For the steak, I pray that a steak in my mouth will stay. Time on steak, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why some of y'all think I can sing. I just have fun with it. But <clears throat> as much as I love food, I love my music too. Old school. Stevie Wonder, Gap Band, Dramatics, Michael Jackson, Lionel Richie, Commodore, Zappa Roger, Low Rider Oldies, Par Parliament Funk, <clears throat> all kinds of funk, disco, real hip hop, real West Coast gangster funk, that G funk. Ooh, that one, ah, that's his. <laughs> I was about to eat up his stuff. Oh man. Mm. This is a bomb delicious thirty dollar steak bomb. That cooked garlic takes on a whole nother beautiful personality when you cook it like that. Mm. Mm. Man. This would have been a great live. Have you guys come out and chill with me. But I want to go lay down and relax now. <laughs> Have some chocolate. Actually, I got some strawberry shortcake. I was supposed to milk the bag for that for you guys. But then 
you want to hear something funny? I'm sitting on my couch, right? And I'm thinking about all y'all. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm going to mukbang this for y'all. Tomorrow, I'm going to mukbang. I'm going to get up early, wash up, get the lights set up and everything. Come by, you know, 6K cake celebration. You know, strawberry shortcake. You know, I know y'all like the strawberry shortcake. You know what I mean? I'm laying there on my couch. I'm watching, flipping through a YouTube or whatever. And I look over to the prayer. It's kind of like, mm. I don't want to get up. I screw it. I get up. I get up. I, I don't even get a plate. Not a spoon. I had what I had a little plastic fork. I opened that thing up and I ate half of it and fell asleep. I just gone. Just like just cake all inside of my pictures. I swear, dude. I am a wolf. Especially in the late middle of the night, like two, three, four in the morning. And I get that craving. I'm like, Don't leave this around me. I don't like to fall asleep with heavy stuff in my tummy, but this right here is going down quite nice. Mm. Okay, I got a nice bite right here. And then the back of the bone. Mm. All that char right there, I want to scrape that with a knife, but. I was going to grab the bone and bite it off that way. Stop, you got to stop, stop. You're bad, stop. You're so bad. <laughs> So bad. I thought I was bad, but damn. Y'all take the cake, man. Nasty ass. <laughs> Ooh. That, that's the nice crispy bit with the fat and a little bit of beef right there. Sauce. Little mashed potatoes. Get that magic bite for y'all right there. My favorite Moscato is whatever that says right there. No A1. Mm -mm. I don't need it. See, y'all enjoyed my pizza video. <clears throat> I need to come with another one for you guys. So, I do want to do that wing challenge to see how many wings, excuse me, I can eat. <clears throat> I think it's in 10 minutes. And I think, um, <clears throat> AB, I think she did it. She did 13 wings <clears throat> in 10 minutes. Tam's table. She did good too, but I didn't get to finish that video because I was prepping for this video. So I got to go back and watch that. But either way, either way, I'm going to do that. Um, I still got to clean the corn. And I may clean the corn. So I got to do that because Lil Gilmore tagged me on that. Mm, excuse me. So <clears throat> I'm pacing myself, you know. But I'm coming, family. Every day I'm coming, all right. So listen, I just want to say again, <clears throat> huge shout out. This is a shout out to everybody. So <clears throat> I know some people like individual shout outs, but right now, I'm not doing shout outs right now, but I will do a special shout out video, uh, especially for my new subbies. But I, I do want to give everyone a warm welcome to my channel and a huge shout out. Tell you guys I love you guys. Thank you. Um, please don't forget to share and tell a friend. Come by. Come eat with me, man. You know what I'm saying? We have a good time over here. We keep it banging all the time. We keep it crispy all the time. We stay prayed up. We stay righteous. We keep it real over here. You feel me? So with that being said, until next time. All right. You guys be safe out there. Holiday times is coming. Don't drink and drive. Have fun. You know, it's all about love. Spread that positivity. Share that good energy. <clears throat> and until the next one, it's your boy Snoopy signing out. Peace.